with Jake Duran. Week nine of the high school football season got a jump start tonight with a handful of teams competing under the Thursday night lights. A unique situation involving the game between Westwood and Nagani this evening, a game the Miners were supposed to host. There was one big issue leading up to the game, and that was the status of Miners Field. Now, as you can see here, the field is covered in snow, and this video was taken this afternoon. The field not in any condition to play football on. So the game had to be moved to a new site and with Westwood's field not being much better, the team had to play at a neutral site. The Miners and Patriots faced off at William R. Hart Stadium in Marquette this evening. The Miners feeling right at home. First quarter, no score. Nico Lucarnin going to take the hand off the O-line, going to open up a big hole in Lucarnin. He is gone. Nagani would miss the extra point. Six nothing Miners. He wasn't done. We're going to stay in the first quarter. Lucarnan going to get another handoff and he's going to show his vision. He cuts back and then he's going to cut up the field. And he's into the end zone for his second score of the night. Two point conversion, no good. 12 0 Miners. Nagani's defense going to make a play. Tristan Miller pressured and he's going to throw into traffic. And Easton Palamaki going to make him pay. Palamaki going to head the other way. He's got his eyes set on the end zone, but he's going to get chased down right inside the 10 yard line. Nagani then trying to punch it in and Kyla Carr going to. Bounce this one to the outside and check out the effort to reach for the touchdown, but he was called out before extending the ball, so why not hand it to Lucarnan once again? 28-0 Miners. Second quarter, more of the same. The pitch to Lacar, and he's one of the most explosive athletes we have here in the UP, and he is gone. Miners win big 44-0, proving they can play, proving they can play anywhere at any time. Another game happening tonight. Ishpeming traveled to Bark River Harris to take on the Broncos. Now this one was a good one. First quarter, no score. Ethan Ives going to drop back to pass and he's going to find Ben Shaversky. Shaversky's into the end zone to get things started. 8-0 Broncos after the two-point conversion. Second quarter, still 8-0. Ishpeming going to get on the board. Hayden Luma going to get the handoff on the counter. And he's going to outrace a defender across the goal line and we're tied up at 8. Still in the second quarter, Ives again going to drop back the pass, and his favorite target tonight was Shaversky. This is their second connection of the night, 18-6, Bark River. The Broncos on the move again a bit later on, but this time the ball is going to be picked off by Luma in the end zone. So we're going to jump to the third quarter. It's still 16-8, Broncos. Ethan Corp going to throw a dot to Logan Herkman's 16-14, Broncos after three quarters. Fourth quarter now, Broncos in the red zone and they're looking to extend their lead. Vincent Martin going to get stood up, but he keeps those legs moving. An extra effort going to pay off as he falls into the end zone. 22-14 Broncos on the ensuing kickoff. You know, a big play is about to come in the squib kick going to get kicked to Preston Gothier. He's going to scoop it up. He makes a nice cut, finds a lane. He'll cut it to the outside and he is gone. Gothier, that is a return for a touchdown. And that's going to make it 22-20 Bark River. Finally, Bark River Harris is going to seal the deal. Martin going to take the handoff. He'll break it to the outside, get a couple nice blocks, and he will do the rest. Bark River Harris tops Ishbeming tonight, 28-20.